there's been a dangerous trend taking over the streets across the country. New video this morning of stunt drivers in a massive crowd in L.A. taking over a quiet neighborhood in the middle of the night. We saw this in Phoenix as well, dating back to before the pandemic. Neighbors there in Southern California are fed up with the dangerous disruptions. Take a look at one man armed with a pickaxe. What? I guess that's the best thing he could find, a hatchet, a pickaxe? Oh, just to kind what, of protect in the world? himself? Uh, Kimberly Chang with News Nation affiliate KTLA in Los Angeles has more on that. Street takeovers and racing are a huge problem in many areas. Police announced that a crackdown happened. You can see photos of cars being towed away. Residents have complained about illegal street takeovers and reckless driving in Harbor Gateway, Compton, and Angelino Heights, just to name a few neighborhoods. After a 7-Eleven store was trashed and looted during a takeover in Harbor Gateway area, LAPD gave a public warning that they would take aggressive action to put a stop to this activity. And that includes impounding vehicles for 30 days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, multiple agencies, including LAPD Central Traffic Division and South Traffic Division, cracked down. Detective Ryan Moreno with LAPD South Traffic Detectives. It's a giant success. Detectives say they impounded more than 40 vehicles, recovered four guns and a nitrous oxide tank, and arrested a total of six people over the three days, including a felony hit and run suspect. We're telling everybody right now, again, if you're going to come and do this, and you're going to do this in, in the South, in the South, we're zero tolerance. We're, your car is going to be gone, we're taking your car. Several cars are now sitting at tow yards. Detectives say it sends a message to those who participate in takeovers and street racing. We're going to be out here again. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. So this is a new thing, a new trend for us as far as we're going to start hopefully getting more uh, resources our way to keep doing this more and more until this problem starts to slow down. And that was KTLA's Kimberly Chang reporting. Joining me right now, Detective Ryan Moreno with the Los Angeles Police Department. First, thank you. Uh, second, this is not unique uh, to L.A., though L.A. may be famous for it uh, just because of the culture. San Diego is seeing it, Minneapolis, Louisville. Connecticut, Washington, Nevada, all those states seeing uh, street racing and street takeovers. What do you think is driving this trend? I think just overall, many of the communities are just are just tired and fed up of it. Um, I know us, these these trends, well, although it looks kind of fun, it looks, you know, it's just cars doing uh, donuts, people gathering, but these things are getting out of hand. <clears throat> people are getting hurt. Uh, people are getting killed. Um, we've had some of our uh, takeovers that have led to shootings. Um, so we're really trying to get ahead of and try to stop it. It's just it's becoming more problematic. I know, like for us in California, Southern California, um, it's becoming just it's getting all spread out all over the place. So we're really trying to just kind of hope it slows down and these folks that partake in this, um, I don't know, get into a different hobby. What is the neighborhood to do? I mean, they're fed up. The police are strapped. Uh, really, what can local departments do to actually keep down the violence and clear out these street races? You know, I, I know, like, for us, what's been good is that um, while this is getting increasingly worse, um, it's, got, it's gotten us, like, in the LAPD, um, we're a pretty large agency, um, communicating better with different entities within our department and then also with uh, outside agencies, surrounding agencies and cities, um, kind of working together. Like, this past weekend, we did a joint task force with ourselves from South Traffic Division, Central Traffic Division, um, our street racing task force, and then outside agencies. And... It was pretty effective. We were able to just kind of go countywide um, and, and disrupt many of these takeovers over the weekend. Would tougher fines and penalties help? I mean, is it that the penalties are so low? It's that's that's one thing, and I mean that's that's one thing why we learn what does work and what doesn't work. Um, we're reassessing as we you know move forward trying to combat this. I know we're learning from uh, there are other cities and other other cities and other states where they're a little stricter, where people actually lose their cars. Um, if they are involved in these things. For us right now, we um, if you're involved in a, in a takeover and you're swinging or spinning, um, doing the donuts, uh, your car is basically gone for 30 days. 30 day impound? Yes, ma'am. Do you have enough patrols to handle all this? You know, that that's one thing, again, like we said, we're getting more resources and uh, getting more um, officers and, uh, again, working with outside agencies, uh, forming task forces we can keep up our numbers. So we can have more, uh, um, uh, you know, realistic approach in trying to combat this because they are, they are. There's a lot of people involved in this. Yeah, it's happening all too frequently, and we hope nobody gets hurt. Thank you so much for being with us. 
Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.